we're looking at the Buchenwald case booklet. In addition to the trials undertaken by the Four Power International Military Tribunal at Nuremberg, other trials were heard by the individual military governments to bring Nazi perpetrators to justice. The United States carried out military tribunals at Nuremberg and also at U.S. Army military trials at Dachau, the site of the longest operating Nazi concentration camp located just outside of Munich. The Dachau trials included the Buchenwald cases, which took place from April to August 1947. Buchenwald concentration camp was established in 1937 in the German Cultural and Democratic Center of Weimar. From 1937 to 1945, some 250,000 people were incarcerated in Buchenwald and its subcamps. 56,000 are known to have died there, 11,000 of them Jews. Although the actual mortality figure is likely higher, since not all prisoners were registered by camp administration. An active resistance network in the camp, with key roles played by communists, saved many lives. The incarcerated included Jewish prisoners, political prisoners, Jehovah's Witnesses, Sinti and Roma, and also prisoners of war. They were subjected to forced labor, medical experiments, and other war crimes. When the Americans arrived at the camp on April 11, 1945, they found 21,000 emaciated, traumatized survivors. This booklet, prepared by the prosecution, details the charges brought in the major trial against 31 individuals who operated the camp and who also individually carried out acts of cruelty and murder. The trials began on the two-year anniversary of the camp's liberation. The booklet contains photos of the defendants, their roles in the camp, and the gruesome charges brought against them. Their duties range from camp administration, to doctors, to gardeners, to guards. The booklet shows not a massive regime, but ordinary people who committed terrible acts. It opens with a solemn note, a dedication. To the unseen millions of a world beyond who watch what we do here today.